not discouraged. Stand by. All right. Okay, Harry, we're, uh, we're going to have a little rehearsal here. Okay. Is the audio coming back at you okay? Oh. Yeah, sounds good. good. Sounds what really about, good. What about the monitor? Do you see Gabe all right now? Yeah, there's Gabe. All right. Good. That's Rolling. Quiet He's not moving. Okay, go. It's all yours. Okay. Rehearsal from Dreams Go By. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> So very pleased when you write your poems they have so much to say when you speak your dreams it takes my breath away you know i want to be a ball player a regular slugging fool but both our dreams must wait a while until we finish school and so you that I must confess I'm so proud you have chosen me when a doctor is what you want to be you know I want to be a painter girl a real artistic snob but I guess we'll have our children first you make a home I'll get a job and so you and I will watch our years go by So many years gone by, but you're still so cute. We take the car to go and meet the bus when our grandchildren come to visit us. You say you should have been a ballerina, babe. There are songs I should have sung. But I guess our dreams have come and gone. You got a dream when you are young. And so you and I, we watched our years. I'm Gabe Pressman, and this is a program about the mood of Americans in the fall of 1976. For the last five weeks, we've been traveling around the country by plane, car, and bus, 
listening to the people. Shrimp fishermen in Mississippi, loggers in the Northwest, farmers in Minnesota, coal miners in Appalachia. The mood of America, especially in a major election year, it's been measured, weighed, and polled. And yet that mood remains elusive, as if to resist the statisticians, perhaps we think because the answers defy statistical analysis. The deeper concerns of Americans can't be found through phone polls or multiple choice forms. And so we set out on the road, a reporter and a singer storyteller, following the autumn leaves across the country, asking questions not asked much anymore. There was a message some guy, the president back in 1840. They had the same problems, and we've got them. Never going to outgrow problems. I can hear my country crying for the dreams of yesterday. It's the sound of something dying, saying we've lost our way. In the silence I hear whispers They gather in the night And then they echo in the dark As we're looking for the light I can hear my country crying From the dark that's in our eyes It reflects in dirty water And the wasted light said, I love the Americans because they love liberty. Americans today, we found, still love liberty, still love their country, but they distrust their leaders. Their mood is somber, suspicious. The feeling seems almost universal that government is too big, too powerful, too remote, that government doesn't care. Political leaders are not believed. The feeling is there's a chasm between those who rule and those who work for a living. More people should look on life that way. I've always tried to. Did you ever take off for other places? Look in to other faces, see in. There's other choices, listen to other voices. Oh. Some new highway ramp. 
took a bus from New York to Chicago. Yeah. 